Hey, so I've noticed that there's not a lot of videos showing how to make mods for the Arc Dev Kit. Like, it shows you, like, basics, but it doesn't show you, like, how you want to model things if you're doing it a certain way or what to use to model. You have to, like, watch different videos, and it's just, it can be frustrating. So I figured I can make a, I guess, sort of series on how to do so like if you need help with it or something you can just comment something saying hey I'm trying to do this and I'll help you I'm not very good with the uh, maps I'm just I can show you how to make a foundation pretty easily make it look realistic I'll show you some of the foundations I've made some of the things I've made in the dev kit and um but right now just for this video I was gonna show you how to install it and how to get started on the dev kit so you're going to want to install it, you're going to have you're going to want to have epic games you just go to your explorer chrome whatever it is and download that that's straightforward but this some people will search or dev kit it's not there and this it's called arc editor it's free so anyone can use it as long as your PC is decent so now I am I'm just gonna pause this while the arc editor is actually loading up so I'll be back when it is loaded up and we are back so once you get into the dev kit itself this part will not be here there should be something up here to click something that probably looks like this to uh, open this part up it'll basically just kind of look like that and have these so it won't have this window so this is my other this is my mod that I have been working on but that doesn't matter you're gonna want to go to mods and then you want to make a new folder I'm just gonna I made a mistake of calling mine something I called it my mod but if you're gonna call it my mod or test mod I'm just gonna call it no, I'm just gonna put TM because you have to rename things a lot and you're gonna want to keep it organized so a shorter name is better so you're gonna want to go into that or you don't really need to go into it it's gonna be right here I want to open up oh, we're both walking up. the mods and then go to generic mod you're going to want all three of these so the first time I did this I did it one at a time because it, just in case it wanted to crash the first time doing this it will take a while you're just gonna want to dra drag them into here some people create a child of I don't remember which one I think this one I just copy them all into the folder that I want to put them in. I think they create a child for one of them because if you if they update this it supposedly messes things up but for me it hasn't messed anything up and they've updated a few times so I, I have no idea. See even right now it's taking a minute. Oh, I have I oh, you probably just noticed this. I when I was when I was loading, I added this so that way you could see what I was doing easier. When I do come up here, it will go off. So, as I'm making these videos, just know when I come up here to minimize something, you're obviously not gonna be able to see it all until I get over here. Okay, so now that it is in here, you're going to want to rename all of these. Like, take get rid of the generic mod put TM just keep it all organized in case you have multiple mods or in case just in, so that way you know what everything is and what it belongs to it takes a while to rename things as well I just paused it every time I rename these I'm just gonna 
again, you just want to rename all these here to the generic mod here. But every when I rename this, I'm just gonna pause it again, just so that way, rather than just sitting here watching me do this. This one, you can just get rid of all of it, TM, or whatever. I would just abbreviate it, is what I'm saying. I would if you're naming it castles and stuff, just I don't know anything, just C A S or C S castles and stuff, just anything that makes it a little bit easier to type it in multiple times. Okay, so after you rename all those, uh, I just uh, you go, you're gonna want to open up the primal game data. Primal game data is where gonna where you're gonna add all of your additional like blueprints that you make, stuff like that is where you're gonna add all of the just everything for the game. And then, okay, so you can like change your name. We'll just call it TM Test Mod and your mod description. Whatever you want it to be, it doesn't really need to be changed. So you're gonna want to come up here to the and type in typing game. I think it's game mode. It should pop up. Yes. Okay. So default game mode. You can either click this and wait for it to drop down, or you can click test game. Or yeah, this one. And just click this arrow. It makes it so much faster. This takes forever to drop down because it's trying to load everything that it could possibly go in there. And you're gonna want to save that. People like to save and should compile a lot. I tend to forget, but it probably is best. Usually, I just forget, and then it either crashes or I actually save it in time. Which you can just save everything from right here. Okay, minimize that. Now you are going to want to go into your level. This will take a minute, so I'm going to be right back. Oh, you're going to want to save. Oh, yeah, save. That actually did not take long at all. So this won't be open. Just close it out. Um, you're going to want to go to settings, world settings, to get it to open. And you're going to want to come down to this right here. See how it says generic mod right now? Again, you can click this if you want to, but it takes forever. Waste of time and just click that arrow. It still might take a minute just because it did not. It did not take a minute. I'm just used to it taking a little bit because I have a lot of stuff in my mod. So if I ever have to do that again, and then you want to save, this is saving the map. And then to get back to the test map, you want to come to here, recent levels, test map. So that should be basically it. Just for a couple controls in case you're very new to it. You can hold right click to turn all around and then W, you know, the normal keys to move around this place. That won't be like that. I was just I just added a material into it. And you can move around to look around without going up and down. And you can kind of move, but it you don't want to move like that or just go straight you can hold the right click and do that you can um, if you just want to play it'll put you over here where its spawn point is that I didn't apparently I had the whole material like that I have to switch that it, it won't look like this it's just something I was it's a grass material I was doing I didn't really mean to add it to the test map it all look like this um, exit to leave and if you want to play from a certain spot, you just click wherever you want to, play from here. And then you're in. I recommend if you're testing things, you can use the that, that command, the uh, creative mode command. So that way you can just grab whatever you want out of here. But that is all for the video. I really hope this helps you guys. And if you want anything specific, let me know. If not, I'm just going to kind of create videos that I think might help you. So thank you for watching. If you actually clicked on the video, goodbye.